What a cut time. Villa attacking the goal to the left. And this crowd buzzing before the kickoff at the news that came down from Ninian Park, Cardiff, that the Premier Division leaders, Leeds United, had been put out by Cardiff. Which of these two teams will be in the draw for the fourth round, which takes place immediately after the game? It's a good long kick. Marcel challenging for it. Here's Angel. But it's worth having a shot just to test Roy Carroll, who's in goal for Manchester United tonight. He's made half a dozen appearances in the senior side and gets another outing tonight with Barthez unavailable. Nicky Butt. with Manchester United admirably enough as Lee Hendry lays the ball back to Alan Wright now the goalkeeper has uh, yet had cause for alarm that will be a United free kick He's such a competitor Roy Keane amazing appetite for the game now here's Beckham Veron Keane Derision from the crowd behind the goal. Just how wide of the target that was by uh, Baron. Alan Wright. Boteng. Here's Angel. Trying to find Marcel. Ooh. Just looked as if Silvestri was off balance. The back pass asked a lot of the goalkeeper. Now, here's Beckham. There's no offside flag. Still Beckham! Oh, it takes more than that to beat Peter Schmeichel, even at 38. Luke Chadwick looks as if he will be introduced into the action after 25 minutes. It's Nicky Burt has signalled that he isn't able to carry on. You can see the lack of mobility there. Chadwick will surely play wide on the left in the position that we are accustomed to seeing Ryan Giggs occupy. It's a sort of game that you can't take your eyes off. Villa defeated in the cup final as recently as the year 2000 when they lost out to Chelsea. There is Chadwick, 21 years of age, made his debut for Manchester United in a football league cup time. Here's Angel, back to Lee Hendry. Roy Keane with the challenge. This Solskjaer who's pulled out wide to the to the right. to Angel, what a good, open, entertaining game this is already with just 27 minutes played here's Scholes looking for Beckham good header by Alan Wright here's Solskjaer Philip Neville Beckham here's Neville oh, good defending by Alan Wright what a good pro he is Gets it back from Scholes. Keane has the shot. Staunton with the header out. Loose ball is picked up by Scholes. Silvestri. Scholes. Philip Neville. Keane trying to play it back into his path. It will be a Manchester.
Manchester United throw. Taken by Philip Neville. Is that a corner? Or is it a free kick? I think it's a free kick. Shake of the head suggests that he didn't see it that way. Minimum amount of contact in the back of Lee Hendry, but it's a free kick to Aston Villa. If Aston Villa were to lose this, there's not much left in the season for them. They went out of the UEFA Cup in the first round, having won the Intertoto Cup. It's Solskjaer! And Luke Chadwick. Well, that was an opening. And finishing isn't one of Luke Chadwick's strong points. Tried to pull it back across the face of Peter Schmeichel, having been found initially by Solskjaer. Looks as if Peter Schmeichel would have covered any effort that was on target. Beckham's header. Solskjaer! Well, again, Peter Schmeichel made the save look easy, and in truth, it probably was. It was right at him, it was head height, it was an easy catch. But you have to credit Schmeichel also with his excellent positioning and unflappability. And just sense it's going to take something extra special from Manchester United tonight to beat their former goalkeeper. Lee Hendry into Marcel. There's Mercy. There's Taylor who was well forward from midfield, but the ball didn't find him. We've not really had a moment in this game when it looked like either side was about to score. Or maybe here. Solskjaer! Pulled off his marker. He's very disappointed with his own effort. Took it on his chest. Once again, Peter Schmeichel looked confident as it flashed past him and across the face of goal. Two or three yards wide. There's no doubt that Manchester United are handicapped by the loss of Ryan Giggs on that left side. And they do appear on this first half to be missing to the striking ability of Van Nistelrooy up front who scored 10 goals in his last seven appearances for Manchester United but the first half ends goalless a lot for Sir Alex Ferguson to think about at half time Solskjaer often operating up front as a, a lone striker with Stoles dropping wide right and Veron dropping deep United perhaps playing within themselves and there's been little opportunity for the strikers on either side to get in a, a strike on either of the two goalkeepers at half time here at Villa Park it's Aston Villa nil it's Manchester United nil there's been no change in personnel by either side at half time we wonder if Aston Villa may for a change of tactics, they didn't really have a strike at Manchester United's goal in that first half. Their priority certainly seemed to be not giving Manchester United too many opportunities to score. Lucas Michael is the busier of the two keepers. Didn't have anything really serious to deal with. Roy Carroll's most testing moments were when Olaf Melberg came forward to the corners and stood on his toes. Manchester United break them down. And if they did, it would certainly open things up. Villa would then have to attack a little bit more than they have. Here's Roy Keane. Chadwick. Chadwick with a chance. Scuffed it. Well, you don't want to criticise a young player, but this England under-21 international who, who, who was on the books of Arsenal as a schoolboy certainly isn't the finished article at the moment. 
snatched at it, rush of blood, needed a cooler head, make the most of the opportunity. of the second half has gone begging here's Chadwick again can he make amends for it gets away from Melbourne strikes it wide and you just know that if those two chances had fallen to Rude Van Eastleroy who's on the bench or maybe even Andy Cole who's of course recently been sold and now plays for Blackburn Rovers one of them might have been nestling in the back of the net United would have been one out here's Taylor Hendry, back to Taylor, Taylor's in with a good chance, he scores! Aston Villa take the lead against Manchester United in the third round of the FA Cup and John Gregory's tactics here are vindicated. Play the containing game for the first half and it's virtually the first real chance that they've created. What a good finish from Ian Taylor who well, Angel was offside, but he wasn't interfering with play. He wasn't involved in the build-up. It wouldn't count. Slid in by Lee Hendry. Taylor holding off Phil Neville. Excellent little ball. Past the fingers of Roy Carroll. And after 51 minutes, Ian Taylor scores his third goal of the season. It's actually his third goal in FA Cup football. Solskjaer with a touch. Well, the problem now, of course, is that Aston Villa, having sat back and absorbed the Manchester United pressure, can now continue to do that. They've got the advantage. The challenge is for Manchester United, who, in a way, can't do more than they already have. And maybe the situation is developing. So Alex Ferguson will put on Van Nistelrooy. Certainly the longer this half unfolds without Manchester United getting back on level terms, the more likely that will become. Scholes out wide to Veron. Philip Neville goes on the outside. Here's Chadwick side netting. Elliot Taylor lost in the FA Cup final as a, a Villa player, also lost to the semi-final as a Villa player, but his goal here at the start of the second half has given the team in ninth place in the Premiership, a 1-0 lead against second in the table, Manchester United, and maybe another upset, not forward by Merson, Taylor again, oh, it's going to be an goal! Philip Neville has put it in his own net, and suddenly Villa lead 2-0! Oh, and it was only this week that Sir Alex Ferguson was saying that he thought his defence had finally eliminated those costly individual mistakes at the back, but Philip Neville has committed another one. Was he trying to cushion that down to goalkeeper Roy Cowell? I think he was, for the lack of understanding. Cowell had come off his line. I'm sure that Philip Neville, though, is trying to give that back to the keeper for an easy pickup, but Cowell was stranded. There was... Well, was there a shout between them? And what a mountain now for Manchester United. 2-0 down in the blinking of an eye. Boateng takes over. Got Taylor ahead of him. Angle in the middle. Here's Boateng. Sorry. Taylor, rather. Boateng gets it in. Silvestri slips. Boateng got Taylor in support. The back heel finds him, but Perron had spotted that. United working the ball forward well. We're an hour into the match. Villa lead 2 0. United have made two substitutions. Solskjaer. He has scored some priceless goals for Manchester United. 80, more than 80, in fact, for United. Four of those have come in FA Cup football. 
Well, Sir Alex Ferguson said generously this week that if Manchester United were to get knocked out by Villa, he hoped that Villa would go on to win the trophy because he thought it would be a, a wonderful achievement for Peter Schmeichel to get another winner's medal at the age of 38. And who will be in the cup final come May? Not at Wembley, of course, but at the Millennium Stadium in Cardiff, where it's now played. Wembley still not yet reconstructed. Twin Towers are still there. Here's Varon popping up on this left side, faced by Samuel. Silvestri, good cross! Well defended, though, by Staunton. Here's Beckham. That might have been going wide. Michael saved it anyway. Got rid of the ball quickly. There was some really good football on show in this match. see how Villa in possession now are just trying to take the sting out of things but Merson's been caught in possession Roy Keane putting it out John Gregory now having left his seat up in the grandstand down on the touchline Stuart Gray who's now one of his coaches the former Southampton manager is there with him he's an offside here's Darius Purcell nearly made it three gosh that was close he was clearly on side and could he have dived and headed that maybe not <laughs> 15 minutes left Manchester United trailing by two goals to nil can they get a goal back can they put pressure on Villa at the moment are coping well here's Solskjaer gets inside of Melberg oh yes Solskjaer does it again the little genius the little poacher you can't take your eyes off him for a moment and that has given Manchester United a lifeline he knocks it past Melberg gets goal side of him and scores with his left foot. It's goal number nine of the season for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. And Manchester United are back in it. Look how he cushioned that with his forehead. Drives it through the legs of Peter Schmeichel. And the former Manchester United goalkeeper is beaten. And now the game's really alive. Villa 2, United 1. Flicked on by Solskjaer. There was an obstruction. It's a free kick to Manchester United. Who ran into Boteng? It's too far for David Beckham to think about taking it. Give it to Solskjaer, see what he can do. Here's Scholes. Chipped in, looking for Beckham to win. Does win it. Van Nistelrooy! Oh, it's 2 2! Would you believe it? You can never write Manchester United off. And now he's smiling. Van Nistelrooy, on as a substitute, gets goal number 21 for the season. And the United fans, delirious in their celebration. Beckham's header was wonderfully planted back. He took it on his chest, then volleyed it past Peter Schmeichel. And right from the jaws of death, from the jaws of defeat, Manchester United have got back on level terms. And that is goal number 11 in Van Nistelrooy's last eight appearances. What a fantastic scoring record. A player who was signed for £19 million in the summer after his earlier transfer was aborted a few seasons ago because of a doubt about a knee injury. And how Sir Alec Ferguson's faith has been repaid by the Dutchman. Still only 25 and getting better and better. Veron. Van Nistelrooy looks to see where it is. He finds Solskjaer. Back to Van Nistelrooy. Oh, he's on here, surely. He gets past. Would you believe it? It's 3-2 to Manchester United. And Van Nistelrooy has scored twice in the space of a couple of minutes. And that is a dagger blow to the heart of Aston Villa. You can never, ever write this team off. Van Nistelrooy's touch, Solskjaer, the perfect pass to release the deadly Dutchman who took it round Schmeichel and then slipped it into the empty net. 
Well, it's a pitch invasion of celebration. Let's hope it doesn't get out of hand. Little drop of the shoulder. Schmeichel went the full distance as long as he could, but even he wasn't tall enough to drag it in. And that's three goals in the space of five minutes. And Aston Villa must be distraught. Steve Stone. Crosses behind, Bill Kick. Well, it's the Manchester United fans who are engaged now in joyous celebration. The Villa supporters standing in silence and, and disbelief. Joyous celebration from the supporters of Manchester United. The whistle's in the mouth of Graham Cole. Do you know, in all the history of this great competition, for sheer drama, that match goes down alongside the best of them. There's nobody like Manchester United to produce dramatic finishes. There's no competition like the FA Cup for excitement. And Van Nistelrooy, who was injured coming off the bench to score twice after Solskjaer had pulled the goal back. Villa leading by two goals to nil. Ian Taylor scoring after 51 minutes. Phil Neville heading into his own net. And with only 13 minutes left on the clock, Manchester United suddenly scored three goals in the space of five minutes to snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. The final score here at Villa Park on a memorable night is Aston Villa 2, Manchester United 3.